Uh, thank you for having the courage to do what you do. Thank you. Um, my question is, having a, a deep knowledge of this information, these esoteric traditions, the darker cultists, or the people who use this in a dark way, right. don't they realize that they're actually enslaving themselves through this, and they're creating an environment around them that they'll never truly Okay, I, I, I will answer this by telling you direct knowledge of the mindset of some of the dark occultists, uh, namely Satanists, that I worked with in my past. Their worldview is such that the laws of nature that govern moral or immoral behavior, in their mindset, in their worldview, means that the whole universe is a prison to them. That is their worldview. This is the dark occult worldview. Anybody that thinks that the entire system of nature is a prison thinks like a dark occultist. I do not have that worldview. That's a poisonous worldview. The laws of nature are not here to enslave us. Because I live under the laws of nature, I am not a slave. I am a sovereign being operating in the unity of nature, period, under the laws of the Creator. That's a positive worldview, as far as I'm concerned. That's an accurate worldview, as far as I'm concerned. Here's their worldview. The laws of nature are in place. We know this. Therefore, we also know we cannot do whatever we want without consequence to ourselves. We hate this. We reject this. We will not live under this law, okay? We are going to turn that law on its head by getting other people largely to do our dark work for us as order followers. As such, they will take the brunt of the natural law effect or karmic effect of the actions, the behaviors that are taken. We will largely be insulated from that karmic consequence because we didn't actually take the actions. And they're correct. I, you know, this is another reason. One of the main reasons people hate my work, some people who hate it, really hate it, is because I tell them the dark occultists are not gonna have the level of karmic debt and the brunt of karmic consequence that an average order follower will. The average ignorant order follower who is a know-nothing house slave, who doesn't care, all he cares about is a paycheck, all he cares about is pushing people around to make his absolute low self-esteem, you know, prop it up and make himself seem like some kind of a badass, okay, is going to take infinitely more consequence from the universe than a sorcerer who completely knows how he's manipulating that being's consciousness like a puppet on a string, yet does not actually lift a finger to physically perform a harmful action to another living human being. And I'm telling you that's unequivocally true. And people hate me for saying it. Now, the problem is most people are willing to help them get their work done in ignorance. And their worldview is very similar to their worldview. Uh, everything's dark, everything's bad, people are bad by nature, you know? And what the dark occultists think is, this is a prison, Earth is a prison, the universe is a prison, well, we got our little corner of the prison where we're gonna be the gang thugs of. We're gonna rule in hell instead of serve in heaven. That's the whole satanic slash dark Luciferian ideology in a nutshell. If you understand their worldview and how they think, you understand they don't care about having any kind of karmic consequence done unto them. They want to have life extension technology, so they, they push that off as far as it can be pushed off. And again, they're trying to assuage to dissuade the brunt of that karmic impact by getting other people to do their work for them physically.